Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to start off by giving you a pretty thorough overview of the situation that we're going to be looking at here. There's a link in the description. Perhaps towards the end, I'll scroll through the details to make sure that I do give you all of the correct and important information, but I should do pretty well with this overview. And it is a tragic situation. Essentially, the incident that we're going to have a look at here occurred Sunday evening in Clearwater, Florida. The guy that you see in front of you, his name is uh, his name is Lawrence Green, Lawrence Randall Green, 51 years of age, and he was in a fight, I believe, at his home uh, with his daughter's boyfriend. Uh, so he had some previous beef with the daughter's boyfriend. Um, he saw his daughter's boyfriend at his home. He was angry with that. He wasn't happy about that. An argument ensued. This guy, the father, decided that it would be a good idea for him to get a knife from the kitchen. So he went into the kitchen, got himself a knife. The argument ensued, again, with uh, between the father and the daughter's boyfriend. And uh, the argument became a fight. Uh, seemingly, allegedly, the boyfriend the daughter's boyfriend was beating the father and hitting him multiple times in the head at which point the father decided to stab the boyfriend with the knife that he had already gotten out from the kitchen as he was motioning lunging to stab the boyfriend the daughter intervened got in the middle and lo and behold, the father stabbed the daughter. The daughter was taken to hospital where she subsequently died. Uh, the father has already convinced the police, seemingly. The article is telling us that the police major, I've not heard that term before, but the police major believes that there was no intent to murder. Uh, albeit this guy has been charged with manslaughter and the police major has said that um, the father was acting in self-defense based on the information that they have here's a quote from the police major and yes that is the correct term according to this article he the father at the time was defending himself from the boyfriend because he was being hit in the head by the boyfriend he intended to stab the boyfriend to get him off of him. And that is when his daughter intervened between the two of them. Um, and that's from the police major. So seemingly he won't be charged with murder. He will be charged with manslaughter. Uh, the father is extremely remorseful in regards to being responsible for the death of his own daughter. Uh, he did not intend for that to happen. And that part seems absolutely genuine um of course the daughter have i mentioned her name apologies if i haven't the daughter is called sydney green she's 22 years of age she was 22 years of age and of course the entire family is absolutely devastated uh with the loss of uh sydney green the, the victim the daughter of uh, the stabber the article does give us some details of family members expressing their sadness and their their condolences of the loss, uh, their devastation. Um, and the article also tells us that this guy is being held at the local jail, Pinellas County Jail, on a $20,000 bond. So a pretty low bond. A pretty low bond. But I believe the reasoning there is that he's not expected to be a danger to anybody else. Don't know how true that is, to be honest with you. Um, and that's really the full details of the story, uh, of the, the article, rather, of this tragic situation. So, of course, full condolences to the victim, Sydney Green, and um, the family, who are naturally absolutely devastated. I don't know what to make of uh, this guy. Um, I mean, he shouldn't have got a knife. That, to me, isn't a good thing. But, you know, having said that, the police already seem to think that he was uh, legitimately 
acting in self-defense. Um, it's such a shame that to protect yourself, you have to, well, seemingly, you have to arm yourself with a gun, with a knife. It's such a shame that there's always the risk of this type of thing happening. I fully believe that this guy did not intend to kill his own daughter. Um, however, certainly he did intend on stabbing and severely harming the boyfriend. Uh, but, you know, if it's in self-defense, then it's in self-defense. So I don't really know what to make of this. Um, it's a tragic situation. I guess perhaps he will be offered a plea deal. Uh, I mean, I presume that he will be pleading guilty. Um, it seems that he is, you know, he is the culprit. He is the person that stabbed his daughter, albeit unintentionally. Um so I don't know what else to say. It's a real tragedy. So I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. If you do value this type of content, please do show your encouragement. And thank you so much to you guys that do. Uh, all those that comment, I love it. Uh, but uh, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. I'm going to make uh, another five or so videos this evening. Um, so you'll see a batch. And I'm hoping to continue with the current run hoping to make multiple videos of this type of nature really every single day. Uh, certainly most days, if I have a, a little bit of time off, I'm now feeling that I won't be too long. Um, so uh, stick around. And if you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, feedback, requests, please fire away. I won't necessarily be able to follow all of your requests, um, but uh, I might be able to uh, follow up with one or two of them. Um, so thanks, guys. I really do appreciate all of your comments. Thanks.